what's up guys welcome back to the fashion babe i hope you guys are keeping safe and i hope you guys are feeling fantastic so in this channel we share the most amazing evening gowns we share the most fabulous shoes let's just say everything in fashion so if you're not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friends and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up So in today's video we're going to learn about how to wear an evening dress. If the mere mention of attending a black tie event has you feeling equal parts of fear and excitement, you've come to the right place. Attending a formal event can be a lot of fun and for many of us a once in a lifetime event. However, there are more than a few unspoken rules when it comes to dressing up for this sort of thing. And oftentimes dress codes are less than specific. Basically there is a lot more to wear. Uh, to wearing an evening dress that meets the eye you need to consider everything from the dress code of the event to your shoes and your outwear so whether you are attending a charity gala formal work event or making an appearance at the red carpet here are some tips and tricks on how to wear your evening dress the first step in dressing for a formal affair is to consider the nature of the event black tie black tie optional creative black tie cocktail and white tie are all common formal wear dress codes that carry with them a unique set of spoken and unspoken rules and expectations we know that there is nothing quite as frustrating as second guessing what black tie optional dressy casual and cocktail attire really means so i have done a little bit of hard research to uncover the facts to kick off our how to wear evening dress guide, we'll delve into the true meaning of each of these standards. So, let's talk about black tie, the epitome of a formal event. Formal floor length evening gowns are the standard, however, you can get away with a cocktail dress if it's extra snazzy. What about black tie optional? Pretty much the murkiest of the dress codes. Black tie optional can be extremely tricky because the dress code for men is more open. Women have more freedom as well. While there is most opt for a formal evening gown, no heads will be turned if you choose to wear a cocktail dress or an LBD. So let's talk about the creative black tie. As a rule of thumb, think of it as black tie optional with a smidge of playfulness thrown in while the other black tie events are generally thought to be more conservative creative black tie is all about trends there can also be themes attached to the event such as 1920s black tie or christmas black tie how about cocktail a relatively easy one to interpret Short but sophisticated dresses are the way to go for cocktail events. So the last one is the white tie. The most extravagant of all dress codes. Think Met Gala and Academy Awards red carpet. Nothing short of floor length evening gown is acceptable. While elbow length gloves are optional but highly encouraged. Say what you want to say to me now. Some other thing that you have to consider uh, when you're going for an event is to dress for your body type. So before purchasing your gown, it's important to consider your body type. Chances are it will be a long night, so you want to make sure you're comfortable and confident all night long. If you have a larger bust, you might want to steer clear of backless dresses. Backless bras are unlikely to offer the support you need, which will leave you constantly tugging your dress all night. Believe you me, no one wants that. If you're more pear-shaped, look for evening dresses that highlight your upper half. Try deep v-neck or something sparkling accessories to draw the eye upward, away from your fuller bottom half. For you petite ladies, the name of the game is creating the illusion of height. Avoid gowns with long train or full skirt. Too much material will weigh you down and envelop you in a sea of fabric. Opt for a fitted gown with a high, with a, a slight thigh slit to elongate your frame. Those of you with an hourglass shape, the goal is to show off your natural curves. Opt for a gown that hugs your shape and a slight flare at the base. 
so you might want to consider the shoe that you're going to wear so when choosing your evening dress it's important that you keep in mind the kind of shoes you need to wear if the dress is too long or too full you need to wear really high heels to keep it from dragging on the ground before going with the four inch heels make sure you can stand in them for long periods of time chances are that there will be a lot of standing waiting and even dancing at your formal event so be sure that you're realistic about your shoe choice the shoes you wear also need to fit the nature of the event while you can get away with flats or even sandals at some cocktail events black tie events require ladies to wear high heels so before choosing the dress make sure the shoes you're choosing are matching shoes and are as comfortable as well as appropriate You will also need to consider the accessories that you're going to wear. Accessories to wear with the evening gowns are often an overlooked aspect of dressing for formal affairs. However, proper accessories such as jewelry and handbags can make a break uh, your evening dress look. A good rule of thumb is to go with the one piece of ball jewelry and choose the rest of your accessories from there. For example, if you're wearing a low neckline, a bold neckline is all you need to make a statement. In this case, it's best to skip earring altogether and ensure that you're supple enough to clash with the necklace. A handbag is also an important element in your overall look that should be more than just an afterthought. You probably won't have it with you all night, however, your evening bag should complement your gown. Make sure you, it doesn't clash with your other accessories and whatever you do, don't carry your everyday handbag to a formal event. Even if you plan to leave it in the courtroom, an evening bag is vital to wear evening dresses. You'll also need to wear a good coat over your evening dress. Throwing a casual trench over the dress simply won't do. Even if you plan to remove it as soon as you walk in the door, when attending a formal event, you want to look polished from head to toe, and that includes your outerwear as well. If you're wearing a floor-length evening gown, avoid coats that stop about mid-thigh. Mid uh, you look cut in half and awkwardly bulky from the leg down. Instead, opt for a fresh rug or a bolero. The short shape will perfectly accentuate your long evening gown while still keep you warm. So guys, thanks a lot for watching and I hope that you're going to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and I hope that I'll be able to see you guys on the next video.